Why, hello. Looks like it's your first time to our humble home. Welcome. Do you need a guide? That's exactly what I need. That and some answers to a few questions I have. A woman who knows what she wants. Fire away and I'll do my best. Rumor has it that you bandits might be able to tell me about the Holy Clavis. Hmm. So you know who we are. From what I can tell, you don't look like one of those order lackeys. So what possible use could you have for the Clavis? Why should I have to tell you that? <laughs> you shouldn't, and you don't. You're not one of us, so you can do whatever you want. But I won't be telling you nothing. If you want to know what we know about the Clavis, you'll just have to join our gang, Monoculus. Have you ever wanted to be a bandit? Now's your chance. Not that we let just anyone join us. But we'll at least let you try out. If you don't like that, then I think you know where the exit is. And that's all I've got to say about this. Name's Adonis, by the way. If you want to attempt the trial, just say the word. I'll explain everything you need to know. If you want to find the Holy Clavis, it looks like there might not be much choice but joining up. I suggest talking to Adonis and finding out what his trial entails. The bandits of this desert have been exploring the ruins for many years. They know what's in there better than anyone. If you want to recover the Clavis, your best hope lies with them. You ready to see if you've got what it takes to join Monoculus? Oh. Made your decision, have you? Then let me explain what you'll have to do. There's a giant sandstorm in the desert. You've seen it, right? It's been causing us nothing but grief out here, to say the least. Make it stop. That's your test. Off you go. Make it stop? The wind? Do you want a bandit or a holy woman? Oh, fine. Make me explain it all. Look, that thing's not exactly natural. People call it God's wrath. It's magic or a curse or something. If you can trigger the stone monument near it, you should be able to control it, including making it go away. If you know that, why haven't you taken care of it, instead of asking a stranger? What? You think a human can control the weather? That's just crazy talk. Now go and give it your all. Best of luck. Beat the monster near the stone monument, and you'll get the key that activates it. And that's the last freebie you'll get from me. So if you want into the bandit gang, you'll have to defeat a monster, get a certain key, and somehow use that monument to stop God's wrath. Hearing what Adonis had to say about it didn't sound like anything a normal person could do. You're right, it's not a very fair trial. But then again, you are the savior. Doing what regular people can't comes with a job, right? I think that must be it. The Donis is monster. The question is, does it have the key? Let's hope that it does, but I'll have to beat it to find out. And now I get to be a bandit, too. I don't plan on losing. <laughs>
free of the darkness. Huh. Is this the key? Is this how you activate that monument? That's the theory, yeah. It's called a crux and supposed to fit right into the monument and switch it on somehow. But not just for anyone. According to all the tales, only those chosen by God can make them work. It doesn't seem dangerous. I think it's just reacting to your power. Well, don't tell me. You, you can actually make it work? Well, shoot. I never thought you'd be able to do it. So you're the real deal. You actually got the crux to do its thing. Yes, the boss was right, as usual. You've got some strange kind of power that the rest of us just don't. Your boss? I don't remember being introduced. You haven't, but we've been keeping tabs on you ever since you stepped off the train at the station. But I suppose I should let the boss explain the rest in person. Cause, honestly, I don't want to get blamed for spilling the wrong things. So does that mean I'm in? I said the boss will explain in person, didn't I? You think just anyone gets in to see her? Welcome to the gang. You are now officially part of Monoculus. Light, you've stopped the winds and opened up a new route. This will make for a great shortcut to the bandit settlement. It looks like Adonis wasted no time in using your new shortcut. Why don't you follow his lead and head back to meet the bandit boss? The bandit gang was watching you from the very beginning. It seems like they were just waiting for the right time to talk to you. So the leader of the Monoculus gang saw through to your true power. It looks like you might still have some challenges ahead of you, Light. Isn't this the kind of magnifying glass that appraisers use? It looks like it's pretty worn. It does look rather old, but it seems like it's been taken good care of. Maybe this is the instrument that Elmer was talking about. The next time you stop by the bandit settlement, you should show him what you found. What is it? Don't tell me you actually found something. Is this it? What you threw away? Uh, how did you... Dad's loop? Dad? Never mind that. Just give it back to me. Now! You want it back? Who was it that told me I was welcome to whatever I could find? I'm not sure I want to give it up. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk if I have to. My dad was a great bandit, okay? But he was also a great appraiser. He spent his whole life studying the relics in these ruins. So he wanted you to follow in his footsteps? No, it wasn't like that. Not at all. He taught me everything he knew so that I could become a scholar. He wanted me to be able to unravel the mysteries of the past. But then he disappeared. Never made it home. No one ever found any clue as to what happened. He left me and took my only chance of becoming a scholar with him. Didn't have much choice. I could appraise or starve. Is that why you threw away his tools? In order to spite your father? It was stupid. I was stupid. I should have just done what my dad wanted and kept working to be a real scholar. But he's gone, and it's too late now. This world is nearly done for. But if I'm ever reborn, I promise I'll take things a bit more seriously. I'll give it my all. I'll study hard, and I'll become a great scholar and solve all kinds of mysteries. Or maybe that's too much to ask for. You should dream big, and the first step to making your dream come true is believing it can come true. Good job again on the trial. Impressive. You ready to go meet the boss now?
Here she is, boss. The new recruit with the crazy powers. It was just like you said, the crux lit up like a candle. Perfect timing. Huh? Glad you could make it. Took you long enough, didn't it? Fang. What? No hugs and tears for an old friend? Not like I'd expected, though. If you'd shouted Fang uh, and hugged me, what? I might have had a heart attack oh. on the spot. But yeah, you guys know each other. But I'm glad to see you're still the same. It's been a long time, after all. Though I guess a part of you has changed. Hmm. You're more than just human now. You're on a mission from God now. Right, Savior? So you know who I am. <laughs> Isn't it nice not having to explain things? Yeah, I heard all the stories hanging out with the God Squad in Luxurian. They love talking about their Savior. You were with the Order, but ditched him to come out here to be a gang leader. Those priests aren't exactly my kind of people. I stuck around to look after Vanille, but then something else came up. I'm after the Clavis now. It's been sealed away for ages, though, and no one's got even close to it. I was beginning to think I'd have to give up. But then you came along and worked your magic with that crux. How about we team up? I want to get that Clavis before the Order does. Help out a friend, Lightning? How could I refuse an old friend? It'll be like old times, right? <laughs> All right. I'll show you what we have on the ruins. We've got lots to talk about. Like what the Order is up to. And Vanille, too. <clears throat> anyway, we've got ourselves a deal. If you're going into those ruins, I'm coming too. We'll get that Holy Clavis and take down anyone that gets in our way. So the boss turned out to be someone you knew, Erba Yun Fang. You once fought alongside her many years ago. You do realize that you did too, right? Yet you sure make it sound like it has nothing to do with you. Well, yes, we did fight together once. A long, long time ago. All right, lads. Take the sand out of your ears and listen up. All of you who've given up on the clavis and been taking it easy are gonna have a little change of heart. You got that? This is Lightning. She's new. We've got a new ally, an old friend of mine. This is Lightning. Remember her. Once she unseals those ruins, I don't want to see a one of you left in this settlement. Every last treasure this world has to offer. Before you head out, it may be a good idea to talk the expedition through, to make sure we're on the same page. So what you're looking for is the Holy Clavis, a mystical relic said to gather the souls of the dead and believed to lie in this desert. Both Monoculus, the gang of bandits headed by Fang, and the Secutors of the Order have tried in vain to find the treasure. But despite their best efforts, no one has even gotten close to it. I know all this. Yes, but Light, you're forgetting one crucial thing. You managed to get the Crux to react to you because you're the savior. I'm sure you'll be able to break the seal that protects the Clavis. Maybe. But if you want the truth, I'm more curious about Fang. She used to be with the Order, and now look at her. She's head of a bandit gang? I would assume that means she's decided to defy the Order for some reason, though I don't know why. She seems to want the Holy Clavis, but I don't know what for. Light, I know she's your friend, but do you suppose there's a chance she's hiding something from you? Everyone has something they want to keep hidden. I'll wait till she's ready to tell me. You really do trust her, don't you? Of course. We were allies. <sighs> what do you think you're doing, blundering around here and interrupting my precious sleep? You lost or something? Just looking for a story. I hear that you once had big dreams of striking it rich. Whatever dreams I had have been lost under the sands. Then why stay? Why stick it out in the desert? I owe it to my wife. She's gone now, but the one thing she valued more than her own life is still out there, in that desert. If I could just get it back, I'd be gone from here and never look back. What could be so important? Her arithmometer. Back when she was alive, 
back when we still had our shop. My wife was in charge of keeping the books. I never was good at numbers. But my wife, Monica, <laughs> she lived by that arithmometer. We're gonna have great sales this month. Next month will be the one for us. Plugging numbers into that silly thing of hers. All with the most joyous smile you've ever seen. Hmm. That smile of hers. That was my real treasure. And then one day those monsters stole my treasure away from me. Everything ended. My business. My life. I lost Monica. And her smile. Now the only wares I have to sell to anyone are regret and despair. I see. I'm sorry. Do you really think you'll be able to move on if you find your wife's memento, though? Sure as the desert's dry. If I could just find that arithmometer for her, I'd be done with this place in a heartbeat. Light, do you think that's the arithmometer Monica left behind? Why don't you go ahead and give it to him? This it is my wife's. I'd know it anywhere. The arithmometer that she so loved. You've got your wife's memento back, so now you can leave the desert anytime you want. Isn't that right? Like I've got any place else to go. Anyway, it would have been better if you'd just never found it. I want to say goodbye to the desert where my wife died, but I don't want to leave the desert where she lived. Don't you see? <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? That's up to you. And if you can't figure it out yourself, well, then why don't you just think about what your wife would have wanted for you? What Monica would have wanted is she always wanted me to make it out here as a merchant. Me and my shop. She wanted to help me achieve my dream of striking it rich. I guess you have your answer. If you're going back into business, how about I be your first customer? Yeah. I'd like that. After all, I owe you. You brought me back. You brought our dream back to life. told me what you've been up to. You've been busy, haven't you? But is it true? Is old Ramon open for business again? All I did was help him get back onto his feet. Helping him at all is more than enough. The world's a pretty hard place to live in these days. You don't see a lot of people helping each other out. <sighs> if there were more good eggs like you around, maybe this place wouldn't have ended up the ghost town that it is. Someone's gotta be the first to start. Why not you? Why? <laughs> Because I'm a ruthless, greedy salesman. I don't do a thing if there's no profit in it. Are you sure? For someone who claims to be a ruthless salesman, you look pretty happy to hear about your rival's return. Th that's ridiculous. He'll be out of business again in a week, I'll bet. If he does manage to cut it somehow, a competitor might help me stay on my toes. I'll say this, my wares and my service will both be better than ever. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Don't let me down now. my dreams come true, I've got to be at least a better appraiser than my father was. I know, that's what he would have wanted, too. If you find any treasures in the ruins or out in the desert, please bring them to me to be appraised. According to the information we got from the bandits, the entrance to the ruins is marked by a very clear landmark. They say it's a giant hand buried in the sand. Like, do you see anything like that? Sounds like it'd be easy to spot. If you need any supplies, you'd better stock up here. You're not gonna find any shops where we're headed. Gil won't do you much good out in the desert. Might as well use it now to get the things that may save your miserable life. Welcome. I've come out here to sell Tobias's wares. You do know of Tobias's store, don't you? If you're looking for the greatest merchant in the desert, that would be my master Tobias. Not that there are many rivaling businesses out here to challenge him, of course. You've gotten really close to the giant's hand. 
The entrance to the ruins should be around there somewhere. 